In this video we're going to look at a foam gun that I purchased on Amazon. I'll uh, look up the details before I do the video. So I have a container and I have the uh, apparatus and I have the worst instructions ever conceived. Let's see what it says here. So the instructions say that rotation can be adjusted clockwise or counterclockwise, but it doesn't tell you what it does. And then it does say that the foam nozzle, so this is the foam nozzle, if you couldn't figure that out on your own, and it said can be adjusted clockwise or counterclockwise. So there you go. Lots of good information there. And then, of course, uh, it says boil body can be put leaner. I don't know what that means. But it shows, it shows a pickup tube, but I didn't get a pickup tube. Getting back to the crappy instructions, clearly, you know, you adjust the fan here. So that's, you know, pretty easy to figure out. And then on the knob it has a plus or minus, so that I guess that's the uh, flow characteristic. All right, I went down to the basement, got a piece of tubing, and uh, trimmed it to size. Here, if I can get in camera. So now, it doesn't have a washer, so I'm going to see if it seals up okay. Uh, just by tightening the plastic down onto the brass and it looks like my pickup tube is right about here seems pretty good and next I'm going to see if make sure it fits on my pressure washer alright so here is my pressure washer gun so let's see if I can yep goes on there just fine Alright, next is uh, hooking everything up and uh, hosing down the car, see how the uh, soap works, sprays on there. Alright, well I made a huge mess in getting the soap in here. You definitely need a funnel. Uh, I'm using car soap and that was kind of thick and it just wouldn't go into the little teeny opening there. So I had to funnel it in after I learned from my mistake all right okay so I'm all set up ready to go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate uh, turning uh, the adjustments to their extremes both the uh, spray nozzle fan spread and the uh, pressure on the top but basically the uh, amount of volume to be put out so let's get started Well, I must say, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> so, we'll have to see how well it cleans uh, here, especially on the wheels and the windscreen. But definitely my first impression is uh, very good. Alright, so I did my wipe down and I'm going to spray it off with uh, general purpose sprayer. I forget what degree spread that is.
All right, overall impression is uh, pretty good. Uh, here's my consumption. So I went about, you know, pretty much seven eighths of the bottle. Of course, I'm sure I could have toned it down a little bit. Looks like I had it all the way on full blast. Also, when it was on the gun, if it was tilted slightly when the pressure came on it would stay tilted so if you want it vertical uh, make sure it's vertical before you pull the trigger so I'm um, pretty impressed car came out very clean got all the snow junk off of it that's why I washed it luckily you know I can wash in the winter time you know we just had 15 inches of snow and a week later it's all gone and it's 50 degrees and I'm washing my car so <laughs> anyway this is not Minnesota but car looks good I'm happy with my purchase and I would recommend it so I'll give them four stars when I do my Amazon review thank you for watching